Okay, I'm gonna go watch a movie at the Ragtag Cinema. This is uh, part of the Show Me series, I think. And uh, yeah, the movie, it's gonna be a scary movie. It's called La La Rona. Not to be confused with that, The Curse of La La Rona, which is part of the Conjuring universe. It is not the same movie. This movie is from a foreign land, and there will be subtitles. So, yeah, when I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. La La Rona. Yeah, not to be conf confused with uh, the Conjuring Universe, The Curse of La La Rona. I'm guessing it's based on the same folklore or maybe it's based on a semi-based on a true story or something. But this movie is from a foreign land. They keep saying Guatemala. I don't know if it's actually made in Guatemala. But, uh, so here's the plot of this movie. There is a guy who is accused of being a dictator, of being, uh, and, like, he's like the president of the country, but they say he, he did all sorts of war crimes or something when he was coming to power, so he's on trial, that sort of thing. He's, uh, he is actually sick, but he kind of plays it up more than he actually, to get sympathy sort of thing when he's in public. But he has his whole family unit, you know, and they have, and there's always this constant, like, protest going on outside of his mansion, on, uh, outside of his, uh, property, you know. And, you know, they're, like, throwing stuff at the house and stuff like that. But they have, uh, they have this maid, right? And she's indigenous. I'm guessing, as they they talk about, you know, people being natives and stuff like that. So, and uh, someone from her town, like, comes in, a younger lady, I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's kind of interesting and weird, because it's like, the dictator guy, he's like, starting to get dementia or something like that. But you don't know, it's like, is there ghosts, you know, sort of thing. And uh, it's kind of interesting. I thought the acting was all really good in this. Although, since I don't know the language, it's hard to gauge if someone's being over the top or not. Because I don't really know. But it seemed like the acting was, was pretty good, you know. So, this this movie has some really awesome shots, and like cinematography, and like framing of different scenes, and, uh, you know, so it was real beautiful, like real artful, and stuff like that, so kudos to them for doing some art, you know? But, uh, okay, so, the theater was having some trouble. <laughs> so I don't know if this thing I'm going to say about the movie is actually in the movie, or if it was something with the the theater. So the theater couldn't figure out how to start the movie, and it was hilarious because this computer screen kept coming up. <laughs> and it was just kind of like, and it was like they were trying to like frame it on the screen right sort of thing, it seemed like, for a while, and then it was like, then that went off, and then they put the lights back up in the thing, and they're like, oh, we're sorry, we're trying to figure something out. So, so they do that. It finally comes on, and then, you know, you see them, like, flipping through the settings to get the subtitles on. It was it was a debacle. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's that. But, you know, the movie, then the movie's gone. But then there's something going on in the sound. And I don't know... Now I've done I've done some some sound uh, mixing and stuff myself. So here's 
If this is actually on the thing that we're playing, this is what I think it is. I think that after the movie was mixed, and it was all mixed down, and everything was done, someone decided to do a noise reduction filter after everything was finished. But what this what made this what this ha what happens what happened is that when no one's talking and there's no soundtrack and it's just the ambient room noise and mostly it's like crickets. There's like crickets out there. But then it goes it goes dead silent until something starts happening again. So it's almost like they accidentally filtered out the 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 ambiance if there wasn't a soundtrack or a dialogue. And it was very jarring and weird because, and this wasn't, it wasn't, you know, to like make things so silent for a jump scare. It was nothing like that. It was literally like, okay, someone's talking, there's some faint music that ends, you hear some crickets and then it goes dead silent until the soundtrack or, you know, some talking starts happening and then the crickets come back. It was just, I think they accidentally filtered out <laughs> I don't know that's the only thing I could think of it's like you do that noise reduction stuff on like the vocals like before you mix everything down you know to clean up the individual tracks but you can't do it after the fact after it's all done <laughs> or at least not set it so sensitive that it takes out the crickets in the room <laughs> it was it was nuts <laughs> but I, that's the only critique, but uh, then again, I don't know. It could have just been the theater. The sound system was being weird or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I thought the movie was scary. It was an, it was actually a pretty good movie, you know. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on La La Rona. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing La La Rona. Yeah, I'm going to throw those up on the thoughts and opinions pile. I'll soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions, you know. Go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions. You know, put them in the comment section. Like, subscribe, ring the notification to bail. <laughs> don't forget to feed your cat, you know. And uh, don't drown people's kids, you know. It's going to come back to haunt you. <laughs>